Hello everyone, Chopper Gaming here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video for Watcher of Realms, we're going to talk about the weekend event and the limited time summon for this weekend, and which heroes are going to be included in this summon and everything around it, and if it's good to be summoning or not. So let's just dive into it. Let's go to the announcement. Then the two heroes that are going to come in this weekend going to be these two legendaries here. They are in the time limited summon with a 15 rate up for this one. We have in Seraphina and we have in Citrom. As well as with the epic we got Lily, Kalina and Paran. And the same time we have in the crazy summoning start which will be having the double rate for the divine summoning as well as the invocation of spirits. And there is as well the surprise invocation of spirits to be increasing the rate up and it's having the one extra legendary summon or one extra legendary hero. We're starting or we're only going to be focusing on the summon for today which will be starting from 27 till 30 of this month and it's lasting for four days. So let's check out the heroes and I'm going to be making mainly today focusing on Seraphina to talk around her skills and everything. We're gonna have an, a quick overview over Citron but he will be having another video for him dedicatively just for this hero. So let's go we have in the gallery. Let's start with first Citron to be having the overview over him. He's from the range type. We've gone he's here. Citron is the electric Robot. Mainly he's a single target hero. He's focusing on just one single target and if we check in the review in overall he's a great hero to be using if your main focus on just a single target. Like check in here main thing we have in the Void Rift the Mortal Codex and the Faction Trial as well as the Arena Single Target DPS. The Drake's Chase as well is really gonna be great to use this one in the Guild boss. So overall it's really great if you're focusing on a single target. Moving on to the next hero going to be the Mage Seraphina and her skills. So for her talent when no enemies can be targeted the hero going to be charging the Mystic Flame and the mystic flame is up on hitting the enemy it will be dealing equal to basic attack one time so basically the mystic flame it's helping to be making her attack even more but she's still focusing on a single target hero and then we have it during the each attack interval to unleash concurrently later and it's possible to be stacking up the mystic flame to three times and if an enemy receives the damage from Seraphina four times within one second, they will be receiving an extra 200% damage to one time. And this one here, the talent, is mainly great to be taking effect, especially during the ultimate when she's costing. For the basic attack, it's costing magic damage to one target with 100%, and it's increased the damage dealt by 5% each level. The skill gets increased for the Passive here, the Eternal Hatred, each basic attack or triggered talent effect has a 20% chance of being enhanced and the enhanced basic attack and the Mystic Flame going to be making her deal 60% increased damage and inflict curse as well. So she's still focusing on just a single target but she can be do dealing first damage. And for the next pass which is the arcane secrets within three stack of mystic flame it will be increasing the attack by 20% and the increase of the level gonna be increasing the attack by 5% as well to be having the maximum going to be a total of increased attack by 40% if having the passive max level. For the ultimate, during the ultimate removes currently charged mystic flame and reduce the charge interval of the mystic flame by 40% and the mystic flame will be unleashed together only when there are three stack of it. So it's basically the mystic flame gonna be collected or she will be charging it when there is no target in the field or in her area. So yeah, personally I'll say if you're trying to be aiming on just a single target then she's a great go for you if you're planning on focusing on that part like if you're laking off a single target 
damage dealers and she's a great one to be going for moving on to the awakening we have in five levels the first one gonna be during the ultimate the trigger chance of eternal hatred gonna be increased by 15 percent awakening level two gonna be increased just a flat attack by 300 level three upon the first deployment it will be increasing the damage by 40 percent for 30 seconds so this one it feels like it's a waste of extra hero to be just upgrading to just level three especially because this extra damage will be um, vanishing after 30 seconds so it's like you know it's a temporarily increase which not really making it feel good around this hero for awakening level 4 gonna be giving her penetration with 8% and the awakening level 5 gonna be dealing 20% increased damage to a target inflicted with the curse and it will be as well restoring to percent of the rage personally i'll say she's not too bad and the same time not extremely good either because still she's just a single target and looking to the, the awakening it's focusing like i know it's um, extremely hard to be making it to stage five for the awakening especially if you're a free player so yeah personally i'll say if you just want to be getting the uh, single target damage dealer then i'll say it's a great go to be taking this one for the uh, the guild boss or the void drift yeah she's really good in overall and if checking the review of the other players they're just the highest is 4.7 and it's just for the faction trial and the single target dbs void drift and the drake's chains for the others yeah, it's pretty much decent. So yeah, this was the complete overview over Seraphina and everything around this hero. And it's starting tomorrow, this exclusive summon for just this hero. And personally, I'll say you already have my thoughts. If you're focusing on a single target hero to be getting, then I'll say this summon is a good to be going for. If you don't want this one or you're laking of more AoE damage dealers, then I'll say it's better to be saving and not wasting your summon. That's all guys for this video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel and write to me in the comments what you guys think about this hero. If you're having any other opinions or any thoughts, I'll be more than happy to read your comments. For now, take care and enjoy your game.